Hello guys, today we are going to talk about blood vessels. So, what is blood vessels? Blood vessels include arteries, capillaries and veins which are responsible for transporting blood throughout the body. So, they are like water pipe connecting the heart to the rest of the body. There are three main types of blood vessels which are artery, vein and capillary. Very often in the exam, they might ask you to compare between the three types of vessels. Okay, the first concept that you all need to know is the function of the vessels. Okay, so remember artery is away from heart. It transports blood away from heart. While vein will carry the blood back to the heart. So always remember artery away from heart, vein towards the heart. At this point, let's just compare between the artery and vein first. We'll look at the capillary later. Now, we'll look into the blood content. The red marker represents oxygenated blood and the blue marker indicates deoxygenated blood. Alright, remember, artery will carry the oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery sorry the pulmonary artery should be in blue color remember that pulmonary artery is the only artery that carries deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs for oxygenation okay As for the vein, vein will carry deoxygenated blood, except pulmonary vein. So, here, pulmonary vein is the only vein that carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart after the oxygenation. Now, let's compare the wall. The wall of both artery and vein has three layers. The outermost layer is known as tunica externa. It consists of collagen fibers. The middle layer consists of elastic fibers and smooth muscles. And this layer is known as tunica media. The innermost layer is known as endothelium. It consists of a single layer of 
cells. The blood in the arteries is under high pressure generated by the heart because blood needs to be pumped into the rest of the body. So the arteries have a thicker outer walls and a thicker layers of muscles and elastic fibers. So artery is thick, muscular and more elastic while blood in the vein is under lower pressure than the blood in the artery. Therefore, it has thinner walls and thinner layer of muscles and elastic fiber. Therefore, it is less muscular and less elastic. Now, let's compare the size of lumen. Lumen is the inside space of the tubular structure. So, as you can see here, artery has a small lumen while the vein has much larger lumen so if you compare the blood pressure artery will be higher than the vein one key feature of the vein is that vein has one-way valves in them to keep the blood flowing in one direction which is towards the heart. This is because blood in the veins is under much lower pressure so it has a risk of backflow. In between the arterial and venous system, there are capillaries. Capillaries are the smallest vessel. So, if you take a cross-section of the capillary, you'll find that there's only one layer of cells. This feature is to make it easier for diffusion and exchange of materials. These capillaries will form a network of blood vessels through every tissue. And what I'm drawing now represents tissue. And it functions to actually bring the blood to the tissue as close as possible and to allow food and oxygen to diffuse from the blood to the cells and waste product to diffuse from the cells to the blood. So the function of the capillary is to allow rapid exchange of materials and respiratory gases by diffusion. At the junction between the artery and capillary, there are tiny branches of vessels known as arterioles. Okay, they carry oxygenated blood to the capillary. On the other end, there are venules. Venules are tiny blood vessels that drain the deoxygenated blood into the vein. So at the arterial end, there is oxygenated blood. At the venue end, there is deoxygenated blood. Okay? And the wall is only one cell thick, and the lumen is very small. Blood pressure has to be low because capillary is only one cell thick and there is no valve.